There we go. Twitch was actually weird there for a bit, but uh, uh, under ten minutes till the direct starts, so should probably uh, go live now. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure what they can actually show here. Maybe there's some kind of new animal villagers, a couple new NPCs, but we've seen quite a bit of what what would be shown. Like we know how the game works. We know why we're there. I think they even showed how we get to the island at this point, haven't they? I'm not sure on that, but I think they have. So there's not a whole lot to actually reveal. Because Animal Crossing isn't a game that really has a story that you interact with. You more talk to people and get little bits of story. Uh, mostly with the hedgehogs. So yeah, I'm actually really curious. Because I cannot think of anything that will be an obvious reveal here. Because we know Tom Nook's doing the getaway package. We know we're heading to the island. We know that we have to build stuff. Which is honestly the part that interests me the most. I like crafting stuff like that. I've actually started getting back to Minecraft recently because of that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm very curious. I mean, we even know one of the new features is that you can tell your, your villagers exactly where they're allowed to move. So if you want to make a specific style of town, you can do that. I'm going to up the audio there a bit. But, uh, yeah. I really can't think of what's going to be revealed, so I'm very curious. We've seen that sheep wear actual clothes now, which is a first for the series. For the Rogue Justice Scarves. We know a handful of new NPCs. They seem to be uh, younger versions taking over for older ones, based off what we've seen. I guess we haven't seen any of the holiday stuff, but that's probably usually something to see in the uh, directs. We know that seasons match uh, hemispheres. Because they showed that. Only two minutes left. We're going to be starting very, very soon. to fix some things there.
No, I want your volume up more. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. No countdown? No countdown. Oh, I'm so glad that it's stopped over here. Okay, there was rumor of DLC, so that's part two. Thank you for choosing the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. This is one trip that we here at Nook Inc. can recommend with confidence. Your destination is a peaceful island where it's the little things that count. Like mingling with neighbors, designing your home, and simply enjoying life. Since we're nearing departure, it's high time we detail the many features and perks included in the getaway package. Upon okay, so arrival at the local airport, you'll be met with a deserted island positively teeming with nature's bounty. Applying for the getaway package, you can choose the island you wish to move to from a wide range of options. Would you like to live in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere? Don't worry, no matter which you choose, you'll experience all that the Four Seasons have to offer right from your island. Your departure date is scheduled for March 20th. That's when the Northern Hemisphere will just be warming up for spring. You won't have to wait long for the cherry blossoms to be in full bloom. Summertime brings its own share of delights. You'll see a wealth of lush greenery, not to mention a veritable treasure trove of bugs native to the island. Come autumn, the color of the leaves on the trees will gradually change, and so too will the activities available to you, from collecting seeds and mushrooms to gathering autumn leaves. All right, forgot and in the winter, piles. the island transforms into a chilly snowscape. The usual winter activities are a jolly good time. And the night sky above is particularly spectacular this Boy, time of year. As you can see, when the seasons change, they the activities in, uh, available to you change along with them. But the simple joys of nature are just one reason that the island is such a great setting for your new life. Not long after your arrival, you and your fellow residents will receive an orientation session from the Nooking staff. At this time, you'll be provided with a tent included in your getaway package. You can chat with other residents about where you want to set up your new home base. And there's. If they are not sure where to move, please help them find the perfect place for their new lives as well. Hopefully, you'll agree that cooperation between residents can be pretty fun. Although you're moving to a deserted island, you're still getting a package deal. On the island, we've included two facilities to make your life there more comfortable. 
visit this tent in the plaza to access Residence Services, which is here to support all of your daily needs. It's open 24 hours a day, providing residents with services such as the sale of everyday goods, the purchase of unwanted items, and helpful advice about living on a deserted oh, island. For that now. And by attending our free DIY workshops, you learn how to craft a variety of items. First, just learn the DIY recipe. Then, choose what to make. And there you have it. It's ready. As you can see, with enough recipes and the right materials, you can build a plethora of wonderful things, even on a deserted island. You'll enrich your life with your own hands. Are you experienced with DIY crafting? Well then, stop by our customization workshop, where you can learn skills like changing the color of your DIY furniture or decorating them with your own custom designs. I pull up just the stylus on that part. Making the tools and furniture you need by hand is of vital importance on the deserted island. Maybe you'll have touch screen. It's our wish that you learn these DIY skills by taking advantage of our workshops. Welcome to the airport, where you'll first land on the island. It's also available for use year-round, 24 hours a day, beginning the day after your arrival. At the airport, you can use the internet or local wireless to invite residents of other islands to yours. And you can also travel to and visit other islands yourself. In this way, up to eight people, including you, can be on a given island at one time. Feel free to get a good group together and make some memories. The airport is good for more than trips through the sky. It also offers an in-game postal service, allowing you to send messages. Feel free to use this service to interact with other residents. Will this be your first time living somewhere so remote? On a deserted island, no less? Don't worry. Here are three big ways we plan to support you in acquainting yourself with your new surroundings. You're starting a new life. So in addition to your tent, Nook Inc. will provide some basic necessities as well as services. No need to worry. Of these, the true standout is your specially built Nook phone. It has the standard apps like a camera and map, but over time, we will provide new applications to support all your deserted island needs. At the start of each day, our CEO, Mr. Nook, will make an island-wide broadcast to all residents, complete with a greeting, the latest on important island events, deserted island life advice, and more. Events got me the holiday stuff, right? Since this is likely your first time on a deserted island, we're offering guidance and inspiration through the Nook Mileage Program. They're great for when you're looking to participate in some activities and you're in need of some recommendations. And as you have these experiences, you'll build up miles, like so. The miles you save up can be used to pay off the cost of the getaway package, and they can eventually be exchanged for in-game rewards at the Nook Stop okay, Terminal so and to, uh, Services. The pocket camp system. Rewards range from in-game Nook Inc. merchandise to helpful items that can enrich your time on the island. To get the most out of every day, try collecting miles using the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Inc. is here for you, but remember, 
The island is very much deserted. And so we'd like to take this opportunity to talk about some possible hitches you might encounter and their solutions. This is one nature-rich island. It's possible that you could encounter dangerous insects yeah, such as wasps piece. or scorpions. If you get stung, you may end up somewhat irritated or worse. Should you come across one you don't think you can catch, try not to push your luck and consider retreat. Symptoms can be or cured with medicine work. available at resident services. And we recommend keeping some on you, just in case. Nighttime on the island can get a little dark. You're on your own, and you never know what creatures might be lurking out there. Right, Please the be careful actually, when taking uh, a late night stroll. The getaway package oh, promises a little adventure. So if you think about it, this is actually a plus. Your deserted island is surrounded by the sea, which means you may come My across golfer. a castaway from time to time. Luckily, rescue is simple. First, give them a holler to make sure they're doing okay. Then keep them company until they wake up. Please offer all the support you can. They're relying on you to make it home. Although your Nook phone has a map application, it's theoretically possible you could get lost or find yourself unable to move forward. In situations like these, it's best not to panic. Instead, simply use the rescue service. How? You'll be transported somewhere cozier in no time. Please tell me that's the services we've introduced so far, there should be plenty to enjoy on the island already. But if you want your in-game life to be even more comfortable, we will offer a number of optional extras. Does the environment seem a bit rough? Do you need a little more space for all your stuff? If you said yes to either of these questions, then we have an option for you. Building a house. The loan has no deadline, no interest, and no assessment. And there's no need to worry about applying for one. You can pay it back at your own pace. A house offers so much more space than the tent you'll start with, and also has its own storage spaces capable of holding any furniture and baggage you're not displaying. That way, everything is nice and tidy. You get to be your very own interior designer, setting up the walls and flooring however you like. Really get the most out of living there. We've made it easy for you to change Bird patterns at any you. time. As you can see here, we do some of the heavy lifting, freeing you up to focus on redecorating while viewing the room as a whole. Oh, that's gonna be nice. If you own a house, we can also offer you additional extension and remodeling services. Whatever your situation, we have appropriate plans available, so please don't hesitate to ask us about them. Your Nook Miles can be exchanged for in-game rewards, including Nook Miles tickets. These can be used to travel to distant islands. The destination of these tours differs each time and depends on how the pilot is feeling. They're mystery tours, so to speak. These far-off destinations are small deserted islands full of trees and flowers. Of course, you can take many items back home with you, whether it's DIY materials or creatures. It's a nice change of atmosphere, and you may experience some unexpected encounters. Being certain these well, tours got it. will prove to be one of our most popular services, leading to many repeat customers. Why not give it a try? Oh, we can hop rivers now. No more bridges. With our package plan, up to eight people can live on one island. 
one optional extra provided only to those islands with multiple residents is called Party Play. With this way to play, you can call up other residents who live on the same island as you, allowing up to four residents to enjoy exploring the island together at the same time. Whoever calls the others is the leader, making the others the followers. They can follow the leader around. That way, everyone can spend time together. As you can see, it's easy to change out the assigned leader. That way, followers can quickly take turns doing what they want to do, even if it's just a little shopping. Any creatures or other items found by followers will be stored in a recycle box at the Residence Services Building. Please make sure to stop by and pick them up later. We are developing a web service within the Nintendo Switch online app for real-world smart devices. It's called Nook Link. Okay, As an example, the service links, lets so. you scan QR code patterns of custom designs. With such a tool, you can use your smartphone's camera function to scan the QR codes of custom designs created in the Animal Crossing New oh, Leaf that's or really Animal idea, Crossing actually. Happy Home Designer games. And then download them via Nook Link. Technically, make it work with uh, the Switch itself, when but connected yes, online, better. You can talk with owners of Animal Crossing New Horizons and the Nintendo Switch online smartphone app using your smartphone as a keyboard or for voice chat. Nook Link is planned to launch in March of 2020, soon after the scheduled departure included in your deserted island getaway package. We hope it will enhance your experience on the island. Also, because it's actually used for that app. With the getaway package, you'll really get that deserted island bang for your buck, especially with only a couple of neighbors for company at the start. This is how we invite neighbors. But our hope is to eventually invite more residents and develop the island into a bustling community. For this reason, we're planning to invite more animal residents to come live here. That said, we don't want you to feel like we're inviting others into your space carelessly. As such, we've secured this land in advance. And in some cases, you may be able to invite some residents yourself. But we won't stop there. We're also planning to build additional facilities on the island. Examples include a museum showcasing the rich ecosystem on the island. Okay, so we get to actually place these facilities this time. A shop full of ready-made furniture and goods you can't craft yourself. A tailor offering clothing and fashion items. This is always my favorite part. I love the Able Sisters. And a campsite where you can invite guests for recreational purposes. Hoping to enrich our residents' lives and foster awesome. a sophisticated culture on the island by gradually adding shops and facilities, with a little help from some connections our CEO made in the past. The Resident Services Center is only a simple tent now, but we plan to eventually expand this tent into a proper building. So basically you're building the town we hall. We will also continue to expand our housing business, which is one of the main departments of Nook, Inc. We can and will offer to expand or remodel your house while providing moving services for your house or local facilities. You can move also, the facilities too? Okay, that, that's really nice. For remodeling, 
We'll lean on staff experienced in providing operational support. That way, we can offer the utmost in services and advice regarding the overall environment of your island. We're hoping to accept not only new residents, but also any guests who are tentatively paying a visit to the island. First of all, tourists are always welcome. In these cultural exchanges, we can show visitors what makes our island so special, while simultaneously learning about customs we are familiar with. We're actively accepting any traveling merchants who can offer up items that cannot be crafted on the island. And eventually, we will host a variety of events for you to take part in, such as fishing tourneys and bug-offs at the plaza in front of resident services. Through free updates, we plan to introduce special events with seasonal guests and more. Yep, all right, there's the holidays. We hope you continue to enjoy our services. We're sure you'll agree that starting over on a deserted island is already an attractive proposition. But here at Nook Inc., we really want our residents to create a one-of-a-kind island that they're proud to call their home. To help you develop such a place and realize your creative vision, we're able to offer you a range of additional services. The ladder's a nice These new feature. These include ways to help you and your fellow residents get from point A to point B. By building bridges and slopes, you'll be able to comfortably walk around the island without relying on handmade tools like vaulting poles and ladders. And once the island is fully decked out, we will provide you with a permit. I'm curious about this. You can use it to freely pave your own paths. A grass one there, so we know we can. In addition, we can also provide you with a permit that allows you to undergo major construction on the terrain itself. Oh, wow, that's really Including rivers deep. and cliffs. So, you want to make a specific nook for specific things if you do that? That's awesome. With your very own infrastructure maintenance and construction permits, you can flex your creative muscle across the island. Make the most of them to make your island your dream home. As you've seen today, the Deserted Island Getaway Package offers you a wild new life surrounded by nature, just as its name suggests. Or we can live a comfortable life in a perfectly planned community. I was really that wasn't there. The choice is yours. What kind of life do you want to live? I'm glad we can actually put stuff outside now. The Deserted Island Getaway Package, presented by Nook Inc. Your departure is on track for March 20th of 2020. We're looking forward to meeting you all on the island. So most of those rumors of DLC were complete bull. Can I play the game together with my family on a single Nintendo Switch system? With one Nintendo Switch system in the game, up to eight people in your family can live on one shared island. The maximum number of residents for an island is eight. Each user can register one resident, and each resident can of course build their own house. 
Does the game support Amiibo? Yes, the game supports Amiibo figures and Amiibo cards from the Animal Crossing series. You can also invite these familiar faces to Photopia, an island that exists someplace out there where you can place models and create a photo shoots. Ooh, that sounds fun. We plan to support additional characters in the future. Do you have any more information about visiting friends? While visiting other islands online, you can communicate with friends or players not registered as friends using temporary passwords. These features can be restricted via parental controls. In order to protect the environment of your island, some tools like axes and shovels are forbidden in visits with friends. Good. However, friends who are registered as best friends can use these tools. It's no problem. Please use this That's feature perfect. when interacting with your closest That's a friends. System. What if I Someone lose my save data? Well enough, you can use the stuff. Animal well, Crossing well New enough. Horizons does not support the save data cloud feature. However, we're planning to offer a service for recovering backed up save data from the server in certain circumstances, such as console damage or loss. Will there be a special theme system to go along with the game? We already know that. We've seen yes. that. Yes. A special edition Animal Crossing theme system will be released on March 13th, a week before the game launches. A separate match and carrying case will be available the same day. Nook Inc. supervised the console design for your playing pleasure. Will there be any free updates after launch? Well, yes, we will offer free updates after the game launches, and we'll continue to provide free seasonal events throughout the year. The first free update will be on launch day, March 20th. Makes sense. By installing this update, you can celebrate Bunny Day with a special event in April. Also, we're planning to roll out a special this offer to for both Animal the Crossing Pocket Camp and two. Animal Crossing New Horizons, through which players can receive special items in each. Details will be announced at a later date from the official Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Twitter account, so stay tuned. Yeah, I'm still curious about how the links. We know that's going to happen, so how it works. <laughs> Okay, good to know. Okay, so one thing I like a lot is the ability to forbid people that you don't know well enough from using certain items. Because New Leaf had a problem where if you're playing online, uh, you often have to leave the island and then come back later. Uh, I'm specifically talking about Tormer Island. Uh, because people would destroy all the trees. And once it, they were destroyed in that session, they would not come back. This solves that problem. And there were some things you could only get from the Tormer Islands. Uh, looks like Wisp is back to being a full, full NPC. It's been a while for him. I want to say the last one was uh, City Folk, but I didn't play that one, so I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like the plans for the holiday stuff is that uh, 
they're going to be doing it by update, similar to how they do it in Pocket Camp, uh, which allows them to change the events a bit each time. So I'm looking forward to that. And they can do some neat stuff, because uh, remember, the Animal Crossing team is a Splatoon team. We've seen some of the stuff they can do. <laughs> Uh, of course, we already knew about the ability to move uh, residents' houses and everything. That's great. The ability to move the facilities after you built them, I did not know. Thank you. Because a lot of times you just need to place them somewhere, but you want to move them later on, and then you can't. I can finally do that. The terrain tool actually being a terrain tool this time, instead of just being stickers on the ground, is nice. Because uh, that means you can cut stuff out, and then if you decide, no, I want grass, then you can then replace it. Something you could not do before without spending a lot of money. Oops. There we go. Uh... And, uh, honestly, uh, the bridges and uh, steps are going to depend on how the villagers interact with uh, the rivers and cliffs and whatnot. Because uh, I assume there's still a limit to what you can build. And bridges took up that space in New Leaf. I think that eventually got resolved later on in updates, but I can't remember for sure. In any case, I'm excited for March 20th. I cannot wait. And that's absolutely something that I will, at least for the first uh, bit, be streaming. I'll certainly be uh, streaming, or at least recording, the uh, Bunny Day event. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great time, or maybe. Bye, guys.